The story of Noah's Ark. A long, long time ago, the world was a very different place. People lived in the land, but instead of being kind to each other, they became selfish and mean. They ignored what was good and just and only thought about themselves. The earth was filled with violence, and God saw this and was deeply sad. God decided to start over, but there was one man, one good and faithful man named Noah. Noah was different from the others. He listened to God, and he lived in a way that pleased him. So God chose Noah to do something very special. God told Noah that a great flood was coming, one that would cover the earth and wipe out all the evil. But God also gave Noah a plan. He told him to build a huge boat, an ark, that would keep Noah, his family, and two of every kind of animal safe from the flood. Now, building an ark wasn't an easy task. It was huge bigger than anything anyone had ever seen. It took Noah and his family years to build it, working every day, gathering wood, and making sure every part was just right. People laughed at Noah. They didn't believe what he was saying. A flood, they said. That's impossible. But Noah didn't listen. He kept working and trusting in God. And then the day came. God told Noah to bring the animals. Two of every kind, one male, one female, came from all over. Animals from the land, the birds of the air, and even creatures from the waters. They marched toward the ark, walking calmly, as if they knew they were safe with Noah. Noah and his family entered the ark, and God shut the door. Then the sky grew dark, and the rain began to pour down. It rained and rained nonstop for forty days and forty nights. The waters rose higher and higher, covering everything on the earth. The flood was so great that even the tallest mountains were swallowed up. Inside the ark, Noah and his family stayed safe, along with all the animals. They took care of the creatures and waited for the flood waters to go down. It was a long wait. Months passed as they floated on the water. Eventually the rain stopped and the waters began to go down. After a long time, the ark finally came to rest on a mountain. Noah sent out a raven, then a dove, to see if the land had dried. The dove returned with a fresh olive leaf, a sign that the earth was starting to heal. When the earth was ready, God told Noah and his family to leave the ark and begin life again. And as they stepped out, God made a promise, a promise that he would never again destroy the earth with a flood. He gave them a beautiful sign of his promise, a rainbow in the sky. And so Noah's story teaches us that no matter how dark things may seem, there's always hope. God keeps his promises. And just like Noah, we can trust that good will always win over evil in the end. The story of Noah's ark is a reminder of faith, hope, and new beginnings. It's a story of trusting in God's plan, even when it's hard to see what comes next. 